So I was decluttering my attic. What am I doing in the basement? Welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen and this is part three in my attic declutter series. I'll have the rest of this series linked at the end of this video as well as in my description box. Last time I was in the bedroom of my three teenage daughters and the eaves were behind their closet. Today I am doing my older daughter's eaves and it is behind her closet. So first, before I can even get to the door, I have to empty the clothes out of the side of the closet. I've been decluttering through the month of November with my friends Michelle from My Everyday Wife Life, Dee from Dee Lovely Life, and Sunday from The Helpful Home. I'll have all their information in my description box below because you're not going to want to miss their videos. At this point, I got a little sidetracked. I noticed a pillow on the far side of the closet, so I'm taking that out because my son and his family are coming for Thanksgiving, and so I wanted to have that available for them, so I'm just making sure there's nothing in there that I might need. And then it is back to emptying the closet and now I'm removing the door. It's kind of held by a piece of wood and it's just a sheet of plywood. But once that's removed, I can get into the closet and see what we have. All right, so, oh, somebody had given us like a bazillion bottle cap things. That's in here. Then we got suitcases that can come out, drum stuff, a drum chair, bongos, <laughs> American Girl stuff, and who knows what's in these boxes. And what else? More American Girl stuff. Yeah, so a lot of this we're not going to know unless we pull out. You might wonder why I have those drawers in the left corner of your screen. Those are her bureau drawers and they were beside the piano and I had moved them out of the way so that I could easily get the boxes out of the eaves. Once you're in the eaves, you're kind of hunched over so I don't last too terribly long before my back gives way. When I did the other side of the set of eaves, it was very emotional for me because it was a time capsule that I wasn't prepared for because it had been so many years before I had been down there. This one is a bit more emotional for Rachel because it has all of her American Girl treasures in there and there are things that she handmade for her dolls and so she didn't even remember some of the things that were in there. This is going. Yeah. And the blanket on top should probably go too. Right? This is, do you want to wash it or get rid of it? I think you made it. Rachel learned to knit and she learned to embroider by making things for her American Girl dolls. And so it was a very special thing to be able to pull all that stuff out. Of course, some of it has yellowed and such, but we'll be trying to get it as clean as we can so she can decide if it's something she wants to keep. Originally, my daughters all wanted to make little hideaways out of their eaves, but once we got in there and realized, honestly, it's too easy for mice to get in there, they weren't <laughs> quite as excited about transferring that space. I'm sure if we really took the time to redo it and remodel it, then it would actually be fine, but I just don't see that in the cards. We're even going to take any storage and put it in the basement, which I'm pretty happy about because then everything we're storing will be all in one place. And I think that will help me when I want to declutter more and more. So, are you thinking you're keeping all of the American Girl furniture? Um, I mean, I would like to. I know I tend to hang on to things for sentiment's sake. When you get to a place where you determine to declutter your house, it's easy to really just get rid of everything. And I think it's so important to allow people to wait until they're ready when it comes to sentimental items. And I know that's important for me too, and you just can't rush it. So here's what I pulled out here today, and I don't know that my back is gonna do any more. So we have a couple cradles that were used for American Girl dolls that we're gonna keep, and then a school desk. Then these are also like handmade things that we're gonna see if we can clean that my daughter Rachel made, they belong to her. And then this is definitely going, it's just an old mattress cover. Bongos are definitely going. And then I had this that my sister made and it's like, discolored so that's going 
this someone gave us and somehow we were supposed to be able to turn these in for money and I never understood it but I felt bad to get rid of them because somebody went through some work to do that I don't know what to do so whatever now I don't, wouldn't feel bad to get rid of it now and then that's an old symbol I believe we can get rid of and the rest is my son's drum thing so we're going to kind of condense it into one box and I want to reserve the Rubbermaid to put the American Girl stuff in to put with her storage in the basement because I'm not planning to keep storage in those eaves. Then this whole box was for this one small drum so we can consolidate some things in here that belong with the drums. I'm getting the drum stuff consolidated, I'm getting the American Girl stuff in the green Rubbermaid, and I'm getting any trash in a trash bag, and then my daughter Crecia was generous enough to offer to bring all that stuff down to the basement for me so that I could deal with it all down there. Of course trash doesn't go down there, and we did have something go down that I intend to declutter, but I was thankful definitely for the help because bringing it down two flights of stairs is a little much for me. So I was decluttering my attic. What am I doing in the basement? Well, whenever you declutter one area, especially if you're like me and you have some chronic pain issues or you just can't lift heavy things, you end up asking for help. Would you please bring this to fill in the blank? And then you kind of got to meet it at the other end and take care of it. At least that's what I find. So I'm down here in my basement because things from the attic have come down here as well as some Christmas things. And what I have learned from my basement declutter is that I need to be down here periodically making sure everything is staying where it needs to be. And if you're interested in watching my micro declutter, because I really just did a macro declutter where I was getting rid of things that were kind of obvious, but not like fine tooth combing through it. If you want to see that, that's going to be coming in January. So click that subscribe button and select all notifications when you tap the bell and YouTube will let you know whenever I upload new videos. This is down here because I took out all my teacher's manuals and switched those around, which you're gonna see in another video. Then I have my fall curtain ready to be put away. The spring flowers I had taken out of my wreath, if you saw my decorate. These are the school books that are for this year that we have not used yet. So I'm gonna find a good spot for those. This was memorabilia that I got from my first attic declutter. This is a science kit also for this year because I find it easier when I'm doing a science curriculum is just buy the kit that has all of the supplies for the experiments. This is my Christmas box that I was getting things out of for decorating and I'm bringing it back down here until we're ready to do the tree in a week. This is drum stuff. I'm gonna put that away. I think actually the bottom box is American Girl. And then my fall wreath is over here, so I need to get that put away. There's some party supplies like gift bags up. My fall pillow covers are in there. See how everything just kind of gets set down here. So that's off-season clothes. Then these are things from my daughter's quinceanera. But these gold flowers they want to use in their bedroom for Christmas decorations. And there's my craft box that I was going through to get things out. That'll be the first spot I micro declutter in January. These are Christmas stockings and I think actually they're all ones I'm getting rid of. So those need to be brought out. That's where my gift bags go. So we just had a couple of birthdays. So it's just things that weren't put away correctly that I need to deal with. I'll start right here. This goes with my spring stuff. This is an autumn curtain. This is a cat toy that Leo broke. I don't, the girls like to tie things to it for him to play with, but I don't want it around my grandkids or hair. You'll excuse my voice. I am trying to edit out any sniffling, but I do have a bad cold. So I'm moving kind of slow, but I don't want to give up. These are spare files from a box I bought new. So I'm going to put those in a filing cabinet for when we need to use them. And now I'll move this with my empty box. Now these I'm going to move just over because I know what shelf they're going to go on but I need to do some clearing for it to work. But they're in my way. <laughs> and this guy escaped. This should be with the empty boxes. Do you like my glasses? I left my glasses at Lowe's and these are my husband's. 
First, I'm just putting away these boxes that should have been put away before. Then we'll deal with some of the other stuff that's new with this area. These, of course, are being decluttered. This I'm bringing out because the girls want them for their bedroom. Can you see that in the dark? <laughs> oh, here it is. And then they light up. Isn't that pretty? So they'll put these beside their beds for Christmas decor. So this will go upstairs. This goes back where the empty boxes go. All right, that goes back on the shelf. This is wrapping paper, which also goes back on the shelf. These tablecloths, I do use them for birthdays. They're for my son's wedding. They were extras. So I'm going to put this with the gift bags. Sometimes I do pull them out if they need them at church as well. But for now, I'm going to put them with the gift bags because that's where I'm always going when we're having a birthday party. This has drum stuff in it. This goes to my son's drum set, so I'm gonna put it on top of another sturdy box that is also his. Meanwhile, the bongos are being donated, so I those need to go back upstairs and in the van, because tomorrow's the day I donate, Thursdays. Then you might have noticed these platters. When did I use these? I used these for the quinceanera. I got them at the dollar store and I was thinking about using them th for Thanksgiving, but now that I have my Christmas decor on, I'm not gonna do this. So I'm gonna donate these. They were from the dollar, did I say they're from the dollar store? Yeah, so they were only a dollar each. So one, two, three, four dollars. I'm gonna donate them. I'd like to put my daughter's American Girl stuff up here, so I see these two small things I could bring down. This is why I only do a little at a time, and let me just remind you, this is a different day than when you saw me doing the eaves, and at that time I said, my back is done, I'm going to stop. So stopping is so important, because you can't keep going if you're not willing to stop, if that makes sense, because you get tired, and then you don't listen to your body, and you keep going because you want it done. It's also a good reason not to take on a lot at once. Do just a little manageable piece, preferably that you could take care of the same day. I couldn't do that here which was fine somebody brought it down it was out of the way and then the very next opportunity even though I'd like to be up in the attic finishing I'm down here getting everything managed put away and all of that so don't forget to take breaks give yourself time to be rejuvenated so that you can keep going next I'm taking the spring summer down because I actually need the white comforter that's in there when my son's here for Thanksgiving and then I can also, that's my phone, sorry. Then I can also be putting these spring flowers in there. So my son and daughter Ma will be in my bedroom and they will use this comforter. And then the one that's on my bed now, I'll use because I'll use it as a blanket. All right, not much in there now. Without water, along the sun so proud. We cry. And then this goes upstairs. I forgot this. We had agreed we're keeping this because these are also from the Quinceanera. And I think, yeah, they have lights on them and such, so we might use those for decor. So I'm just going to try to sneak those back in the box up there. <sighs> Then this stuff, these get little gift baggy things. I wasn't anything I want to keep, so I'm gonna throw those out. Oh my phone will stop. I'm not finding a box that says fall, so I do have this small box up here. Oop. <laughs> that has some spring stuff in it. So I'm gonna put all I have is the pillowcases and the curtain. I'm gonna put it in there. And then when I take out my spring stuff, I'll probably relabel it for fall since I do have this other big box, but I, I'm not bringing that big box down again. I don't have the energy. This one is the Halloween decor, so that's easy. 
Now I'm gonna bring over the Christmas box. I'm gonna bag up this wreath and then I'll be almost done, I think. So once again, things are set to right. And honestly, a lot of this is going to hopefully get decluttered, if not definitely reorganized, condensed, because a lot of these boxes aren't even full, to be honest. Coming soon. Don't forget to get more motivation by watching my friends Michelle, Dee, and Sunday. You'll be so glad that you did. All of their channels are linked in my description box below.